Welcome to the Advocate on Plus TV Africa, where your panelists discuss thought provoking topics in an atmosphere of seriousness, decisiveness, and laughter. Here, we call a spade a spade. And like we say here, no holds barred. Today, I'm picking up from where Delac was talked last week on the issue of startups. I'm talking about how more social capital is needed. Solomon, who makes his debut today, is talking about the need to close the data literacy gap. Ruth speaks on the growing Sarcher economy. And finally, Elijah continues with his leadership series, and he terms this the sabotage leadership. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Startup founders need more social capital. There's a lot of force and buzz around the word capital when starting a business. Early stage founders are always on the hunt looking for financial capital to throw in their ideas and solutions. Why I agree that money is critical to early stage founders starting a business is also a deeply underrated form of capital, which is the social capital. I personally believe that it's important for early stage founders to invest massively and aggressively into building relationships. This is one way to make deposits into their social capital bank account, which can be withdrawn later on when they need it. The next money you're looking for to scale your business or your idea lies in the hands of someone. The money you seek in exchange for your product lies in the hands of people. One introduction can take your business to the next level. The quality of your finances has a deep connection to the quality of your relationships. Some of the big businesses and companies we see today were built by people investing early into social capital. The thing with this type of capital is that it works in an input output dynamics. It is what you put in that you will get out eventually. Early stage founders can quickly ramp up on what they are building if they can make that paradigm shift and pivot into growing their social capital bank accounts by connecting with people and building more meaningful relationships. All right, so Ruth, what are your thoughts? Okay, so I, I actually like this topic. I like the fact that you made mention of social capital. Um, when you think about it, um, um, you realize that most people are focused on raising financial capital, but you mm -hmm. realize that the cheapest form of credit or cheapest form of capital you can get is actually social capital. Mm. Um, and it all relates to things like integrity, things like um, keeping to your word, having good relationships, having good, good friends, having mm. good people around you, not just being an islander wherever you are. Because as this, the saying goes, if you want to go far, you go alone. If you want to go far, um, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go, go people. people. So you realize that that also, work, that also applies even in whatever sector you are, especially mm. as an entrepreneur. So you need to really work and develop that social capital as a person. Well, Victor, I love this. You know, let me just come from this way. Earth's great treasure lies in the human personality. We all know that. Mm. This I agree. Now, if you want to drill that human personality, there's a resource. Sure. The drilling process has to do with uh, relationship building. Mm. You now get one, get the resources in there. The resources could be in form of physical cash, mm. one you call um, uh, normal currency, fiat, or whatever currency, or yeah. the inputs, inputs in terms of tech, savviness, uh, resources, knowledge, or so. so you just need to build a um, relationship with people because wealth is beyond just normal money. If you are looking for money, oh, people are looking for money to start up their phone, but then you neglect having good relationship with people. You need to be in cycles where you learn from people and appreciate people for who they are. You learn not to be selfish, manage mm -hmm. yourself, and try to be good to other people. And then that's how to build your 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 network. After all, they say your your network is your network. Yeah, your network yeah. is your network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if so, I can add to that, yeah. um, most founders think that um, you having um, the cash is like the primary thing. Mm. But there are some services services you can get literally for free. Yeah. Like when I'm building some of my product, I reach out to my friends who mm. have those skills. Mm. So they just help me like with marketing, help me out with marketing, mm. help me out with designs. Mm. Those are things I can get for free because I have that relationship. Mm. You know, I think people are the highest form of money, you know, I mean, I've literally embodied this where I've literally built th things from ground up, utilizing, Just people. Um, you know, the people in my life. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm very intentional about connecting, you know, making very valuable relationships. And again, how to build relationships is really intentional, it's organic. So you don't wake up thinking that someone's going to give you um, money. I mean, someone was telling me that if you want to get to, 
you know to the vp you know it's just one contact away to the vp for some people they're like 100 contacts away depending on how you you know so i think it's about when you meet someone you are not investing in people because of what you can get from them yeah. but you're investing in people you know like it's a natural process where you're you're thinking about what can i give to this person because the truth is the more you're doing that the more you're depositing so it's like it's it's like um an unseen process it's abstract you are depositing to your bank account and then maybe tomorrow you need to do something oh i knew someone oh i know a graphic designer oh i know a web developer oh i know this you are you expressing you know person comes about comes on board on your project i think someone said something that you know when money or cash finishes in your life it's not money that finished it is people right it is that gotcha. you know when you don't have access yeah. to people. people so i think yeah. sort of founders have to start you know paying attention to again Ruth is in finance, I mean, people are raising money and all of that, right? But even to raise money, you need people, you yeah. need um, access to the investors and all of yes. that. So yes. we're, we're paying attention so much to, oh, I have this massive idea, I'm yes. going to give Mark a run for his money, but I'm looking for money, I need money. But we're not thinking about, what about the people? You know, we've not exhausted the relationships that are in our life. I think it's really important, you know, when you're building something at that early stage, because you don't even have access to cash, but you have access to people that can get things done. And again, it's just like if someone says, I want to get a car. So I asked someone that once I was, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for money to buy a car. So I asked him, do you need a car? Do you need money or you need a car? Well, I need both. No, you need a car. So what if I give you the car? That's yeah, so yeah, true. what you need is a car, not money. money, money so, yeah. oftentimes, we, we always are I'm looking for 10 million, I'm looking yeah, for 15. Yeah. What do you need the money for? The services that you need money for, exactly. Yeah. So, I need to get an office space for my business. Yeah. What if I connect someone that gives you the, the office space. space? Yeah, I like what everyone has said around this topic. I think one, one question that I always like to ask is. And it's a challenge that I had when yeah. I started on my career. Because yeah. everyone tells you, build social capital, build a network. And then you go for networking events and you realize that you are either lost mm. yeah. or it just doesn't even, even if you, the, the connections you make doesn't translate into anything. I, I mean, sometimes you exchange cards, you do everything and you realize that <laughs> it just ends there. Mm. So the question is, how can a young person build a social capital? That's really Practical way, actually. Practical way. Yes. yes. If I'm going to respond to that, uh, personally, let me use myself as an example. I've been opportune to attend local and international events. Mm -hmm. When I go for international events, I don't joke with it at mm -hmm. all. I'm always intentional in reaching out to people from different countries, not just for the glory of it, mm -hmm. but for the strategically, the word is strategically. You know what you want. If you go to somewhere, a networking event, just like you said, that you don't have um, where you are going to, you don't have a clear direction of where you are going to. When you get there, you'll be lost. Any, any Tom Dick and Harry will meet you and end up wasting your time. First things first is that number one, you are genuinely in, in, in interested in people. You want to give back to people. You just mm. want to genuinely yeah. help. You are not being selfish. Mm. Then secondly, again, you have to be strategic. That's in that order. You'll be strategic in the sense that you're, you have a project in mind you are trying to do or you have something in your mind you are thinking either long term or short term. In the process of having genuine conversation with people, you'll find out about who they are and the rest. And and then you keep in touch after the process after that opportunity there's what we call posts mm. uh, conference management you have to intentionally call them keep, mm. keep up with conversation mm. no there's some people i will hear them you say you don't call you say me i don't used to call i don't like calling stop all this nonsense mm. stop it if you want to build network learn to call if it's okay with the person you are communicating with or at least send messages keep up with conversation emails and all these things technology has made this thing easy if you start with first level uh, relationship, first level conversation, emails and their uh, correspondence and then eventually um, if you guys are or you people are building that closeness, closure in, in relationship, mm -hmm. you can decide to ex transcend beyond that. They have phone calls, then video calls, video chat and good things can happen from there. I think if so, I'm going to be a bit practical, Ruth wanted something, you know, so just add to what Elijah said. Like I said earlier, it's about being organic with it. I see people go to events and they want to talk to a bunch of 1,000 people. They just want to talk to everybody. Hey, hi, hi. You know, don't, you don't do that. So for me, I identify three persons I'm going to speak to, right, exchange contact, learn about them. And like he said, when I get back, I'm going to follow up and keep up. Oh, hi, I'm Victor. We met at this conference. I am an entrepreneur. I do this, you know, just following up. 
if there's something you think we need to do together, you know, and then we just keep up with that, right? So people just collect a bunch of business cards and numbers and they don't do anything afterwards. So it's about targeting, targeted, you know, um, because building is strategic, like he said. I mean, when, you, when you're trying to build the house, right? You get the architecture to drop the plans and then you don't you're not plastering and then you're doing foundation it's not yeah. possible so you start with foundation then you get to window level linty and then you start nobody paints a house as that building you don't do that so it's strategic and it's organic so you don't want to meet 100 people at the same time when you get home you just realize i don't even know what i'm doing mm -hmm. so you, you take it one step at a time or i went to this place i want to meet one person or two persons or three persons and then I'm going to do like a post. When I'm done, I'm going to go back and follow. But I think the, the larger work is the consistency of keeping up with that relationship. Because the more I get to talk to you, the more I get to know, oh, okay, so Rook is in this, so Rook does this, she, Elijah does that. But when you make it a one-off and we think that we're going to come back after um, one year, oh, let me go back and talk to this um, lady, she's doing this. No that's going to be parasitic. So it has to be symbiotic where you're talking to them and then they're talking to you, you're cultivating that. I think that's one thing that really works Let for me. Let me quickly, uh, this has no business with environment because I hear a lot of young people say, me, I'm an extrovert, or me, I'm an introvert. I don't know how to talk network. My friend, mm -hmm. if you really want to gain things in life, good things of life, you need to learn to make genuine friends with people. That's it. Forget about chasing money alone. Money alone will not just come and say, money, wealth is in people. And wealth is beyond money. Awesome. Yeah. And some mistakes some people do during networking, they start by selling services. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, you That's start genu sure. genuinely by sure. knowing the person. Get yes. to know the person. Yes. I, I think yes. I was going to even yes. add, like, try to find something, like a common ground. Mm. If yeah. it's um, probably we went to school together, you try to, you know, yeah. find something common that ground. interests yeah. both people, mm. and then you can kick off from there. Yeah. Yes. All right. Up next is Solomon. Do stay tuned.